Uh, now, Rance, you're always out exploring the city, and you made a stop at Murray Hill, right? Oh, yeah. So a few weeks ago, I met with Andrea Dahlia to chat about Murray Hill's mural project. So at that time, Murray Hill Preservation, they were in fundraising mode. I stopped back through just recently. Now they started their first project on the side of the Murray Hill Theater. We're actually celebrating Murray Hill's 100th anniversary this year. This is the 100th anniversary of the um, incorporation of Murray Hill as a town. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to start this project now, is to sort of start the next 100 years for Murray Hill. Even if you aren't a Game of Thrones geek like me, one understands that legacy is everything. Mix in that St. Augustine is the oldest city in the U.S., it makes sense that Murray Hill seeks to put its stamp on Jacksonville's history with the beginning of the Preservation Society's mural project. And it's something that I came to them with after visiting Miami. There's a, a, a huge district called Wynwood down there where there are lots of murals, and it, it really revitalized that neighborhood. And that's something that I think would work well here. So uh, I brought that to the board, and, and they all seem to agree that it was something that would really sort of raise Murray Hill's uh, profile here locally. With the idea created, the process is pretty major. The first of uh, four planned murals. Uh, this one is being painted by the students at Lee High School. We just finished a call to artists for the second mural and secured this location for the third. So. We're hoping for a total of four, and then once that kit is on, hopefully doing more after that. Taking on an endeavor like this is a bit easier when members from the community take the time to contribute. And Jacques, who's the um, art teacher over at Lee High School, has volunteered to do the, the painting for us along with some of her students. And then a Lehigh alumni who works over at Craft Paint Supply has donated all the uh, paint and supplies that um, students are using. So it's uh, a whole project encompassing Lehigh School. <laughs> Besides the history of the Murray Hill Theater, the first mural painted on the side wall is pretty significant. This location is pretty visible. A lot of people come use this parking lot for the um, library, and a lot of traffic going by you can see this wall. So something that we wanted to really um, catch people's attention and let them know what was going on. The focus of all the murals making their way around Murray Hill is to create conversations about the area's history and keep it moving forward. A book is also in the works. we are doing a release of our um, Murray Hill book. It's a history of Murray Hill. And we sort of revitalized that and, and, you know, redesigned it and ramped it up so people can really learn about the history of, of this neighborhood and, and learn about where we're, we're heading next. I'll have more on Murray Hill and the mural soon. Stay tuned. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So it looks like an amazing project, and you're going to go back there to check in on them, right? All right. So that was like kind of in their early stages. I spoke with them today. They're almost done. They're going to have a sick party to pump it up. They're going to have an even bigger party in September for people to come out and help show Murray Hill some more love. All right, well, for more information on the project, go to our website, rivercitylivetv.com. Just click the As Seen on River City Live. We'll be back right after this.